The Honourable Member from Thornhill. If you're under 30 in Canada, it's nothing but doom and gloom, according to Bloomberg Nanos. Gen Z's confidence in their pocketbooks is at the same level that it was in the first months of the pandemic. That's a 16-year low. The budget they said was about generational fairness has turned out to be a monumental failure. Instead, young Canadians keep getting higher spending, higher inflation, and higher interest rates, and they get nothing for it. The Prime Minister was voted in by young Canadians. Why won't he admit that he's destroyed their futures, step aside, and let Conservatives fix everything he broke? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, our budget is about generational fairness and investing in young Canadians, investing in the housing, in the affordability and the economic growth that they urgently need. But you know what else young Canadians need, especially young Canadian women? That is control over their bodies. You get that control with free free prescription contraceptives. The Conservatives are voting against our budget because they don't believe that a woman, a young woman, should control her life and her body. We won't let them do that. Excellent. I'm certain all members would like to hear the question for the member of Thornhill without interruption and also hear the answers. I'll ask all members to please do so. The Honourable Member from Thornhill. So cherry-picking data, misinformation, and lecturing Canadians, telling them that they are on they are wrong. That is a choice, Mr. Speaker. Millennials are telling this government that they can't pay their rent, that they can't pay for groceries, that they can't get to work. Even the bank governor confirmed that $61 billion in new spending is, quote, not helpful when it comes to bringing down inflation and interest rates. When will the deputy prime minister stop her inflationary spending so that young people stand a chance in this country? <laughs> The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. I notice, Mr. Speaker, that the Deputy Leader of the Conservative Party did not clarify her own position on a woman's right to choose. Canadian women deserve to know. And you know what? They can't trust any of these Conservatives to actually tell the truth. Because the Governor of the Bank of Canada, in fact, said budget was helpful because we stuck to our fiscal guardrails. That is what he said, Mr. Speaker, despite Conservative attempts to portray it otherwise. 